to the wrestlers go out and be in the strike defense? Is that something you're really welcoming? Because what do you make of the strike? I welcome everything, and that's that's the thing. The key with my fighting is uh, I'm able to adapt. My mind is, is my mind is, is a different, and I, I surprise myself sometimes with the things that I can do. You know, I'm able to adapt. If it comes down to just striking, he doesn't want that. Let's be honest. If it comes down to wrestling, he still thinks he wants that, but he doesn't want that. I mean, you heard it before. When I was gonna fight Tyron Woodley, Tyron Woodley said the exact same thing. If it come down to just wrestling, I would kick your ass. If it was this, I would do this. But that's what it is, but once you step in that cage with this African lion, things change. Is it hard to trash talk someone who you know is not being real? Like it's sort extremely. Of like, yeah. <laughs> extremely. It's extremely hard. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, why aren't you trash talking more? Why aren't you getting into this? I don't have to. I'm sitting up here. There's gold beside me. I, I, I don't have to. My body of work speaks for itself. I don't need to. I understand that we have to be entertainers, but... So my job is to step in there and entertain you with my skill, you know, so I don't have to do all that gimmick. He had to do that to get here. I didn't have to. Have you seen me do the gimmick? No, never. I just, I just, put, oh my, and that's another thing that I keep hearing. People are saying it got in my head. You know, I haven't been competing for years with all these guys, different guys at different stages and still make it to this point for him to think, oh, he got into my head, man. At the end of the day, the, the main reason why I do this, I've said this before in several interviews, the main reason why I compete today is for the sheer fact of competition. When I left the Olympic Training Center in 2020, 2012, I could have went and got a job and, and became a marriage counselor like I wanted to be. You know, I, can't, I could have went back to school and, and did that, but I still had a burning desire to compete, which is why I'm still here today. I mean, it, it, it's, uh, it's an insult because um, to the naked eye, it seems the same. We both go hard, we both wrestle pretty well, and we both you know, throw a lot of record numbers of, of, of punches in our fights. So to the naked eye, and we both dominate. You know, so to the naked eye, it seems the same, but it's really not. The way that I use my mind, the way that I set things up, the way that I corner guys, the way that I trap them, the way that I make certain guys work is completely different. You guys will get a front row seat to find that out on Saturday night. You mentioned that he's not in your head, and I fully believe you. Did he do anything to prepare to make sure that you didn't get bothered? Because we've seen great fighters in the past who've gone through a mob, but like, not a super cool, but other fighters are cool. No, no. At, at the end of the day, um, it's part of being a professional. Um, and, and that's a. Uh, I'm a, I'm a professional in every sense, whether it's in and outside of the, the, the practice room. I try to be the best professional that I can be. Um, so, no, I didn't have to do anything. For Tyron Willie, I brought in nobody. I didn't do any of that. I just, I, it's my routine. And what I've been doing, you know, has slowly elevated me to this point. So, why would I change it for this clown just because he had a louder, you know, louder voice than the others? You know, there's, there's no change. You know, I just continue to do what I do and, uh, you know, God willing, I'm going to step in this Saturday night and I'm going to make it happen. The uh, Dominant Sunday Media Day, you were showing me your DMs of all the fans and your messages about the Is that ramped up the closest to the uh, A little bit, you think? A little bit. <laughs> no, it, it's, uh, it's definitely ramped up, but, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many people want me to, to, to go out there and kill this guy, I actually have to do it. So, you know, part of being a professional is learning how to block that off and step in there and take care of business. God, I'm too big and too strong for all these guys. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Tyron Woodley's a powerhouse. One of the most explosive guys in the UFC. And look how I made him look. You know, it, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day once we step in there you know it, it's all about the preparation and, and in the mind and how you're able to handle all of this and uh, and, and i think i've done a very good job at that and um you know saturday night he's going to see the sheer size and, and my abilities every guy <laughs> Yeah, which is uh, which is uh, why I welcome this fight. I really welcome this fight because, uh, and I've welcomed it for, I've been at peace with this fight for a couple of years. I'm gonna be honest with you. Every fighter, once they sign the contract to fight, 
you get nervous, you know, your heart starts, because you just signed the contract to put yourself in harm's way. Everyone feels like that. You know, but I've been at peace with this for the last time. So with the Tyron Woodley fight, the same thing. I've been signing Tyron Woodley up for years. You know, so when I got in there, it wasn't like, it was second nature. I was, I was used to it. This guy, I've been at peace with this fight happening for years. And so, you know, now it just gets to happen. So I'm prepared to do what I've always done. You know, I, I, I trained, I had a good training camp, and I'm gonna go in there and basically do what I've always done, which is dominate.